Okay, so one of the main reasons I'm doing this video is because I had super bad acne before. I used to have like the little bumpies and nestle crunch on my forehead. I used to have blackheads here. I used to have like break out on my contour line all the time. And I figured I, you know, put in my skincare routine because like a lot of my friends who knew me from middle school were like, whoa, I did that. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know the products that I use and yeah and let's just get into it i guess okay the first thing i'm gonna use is the milky jelly cleanser from glossier and i recently got this and added this to my skincare routine but it's super good it goes on very like the way it says like milky jelly kind of substance this is the first thing i put on on a day i'm not wearing makeup which is usual um and yeah so i'm going to the bathroom Put this on wash it off the the directions if you want you know go away this says massage cleanser on dry or damp skin and rinse thoroughly so um i'm gonna go do that so you know i put the cleanser stuff all over my face and then you know i dried it with like a little towel and went like this boop, 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 boop. whatever um i still look like crap the only difference from this and my everyday kind of like Skincare routine is I'm doing a face mask because face masks are for when you know you feel a little bougie. I'm gonna use the retexturizing mask with rose clay from Origins. Look at that. Hello, is this why they do the hand thing? <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, focus on me. Okay. Now this they oh, they say like it's bad for people with sensitive skin. I have you know. Not you, to be honest, my skin really isn't sensitive. Like I feel like if something burns, it's working, so I like it. But this doesn't really burn. It's just that you know it's retexturize. It's a retexturizing clay mask for a reason. So pretty much it has like little bullies in it, and uh, so like when you wash it off, it's gonna rub against your skin. You know to give you that glow that everybody's talking about. Now that glow is the blood rushing to your freaking face because it feels a little irritated, nothing crazy from the little, you know, rough things in the face mask. So I would recommend this to anyone, but unless you got like skin that gets like nasty when irritated, like super sensitive skin, obviously not. Okay, so like I was saying, I really like this face mask because this is the the one that I use when like, you know, college is beating my ass and I'm like, I look dead. I want to at least go to school looking alive kind of thing. This is what I put on because I feel like this, you know, gives life to my face and makes life worth living. You know, the usual, you know, I have had acne before. I know I said this earlier in the video, but like. You don't understand. Like, I w my thing wasn't really pimples, cause like pimples, I feel like can be taken away like like that, unless it's like the ones that like build under your skin. But I had like blackheads, like crazy, crazy blackheads. Like the one, like it was just disgusting. Like it just, it was, it wasn't pretty. It was all over here, like really, really bad. And none of my friends told me anything. And then when I would like pop the blackheads, you know, like when you have acrylic nails and they go over each other and leave like little scars, I will put makeup over it and it would get even worse because you get to see like the little scabby things under the makeup. Ah, oh, itchy. You would see that and it was disgusting. And it was just like, it was not fun. Hello, I'm back. So, Face mask taken off, um, I feel glowy, whatever, whatever. So then after like my skin like not burns, but like gets roughed up a little bit, I use the Glossier solution. It's an exfoliating skin protector. Gotta do the thing. Is it working? There we go. And pretty much take a cotton pad and go pia, pia. And you just get it all over your face. Now, I thought that this was a complete BS. Like what's the point of you know getting this but i still bought it anyway because i'm stupid but it ended up working out good so like this stuff it has like the acne stuff in it like that like pretty much burns your skin if you have any open wounds kind of thing and acne stuff and like 
I don't know. I feel like it finds more dirt on your face than anything else does. It was um, I had already washed my face and I used this and like the whole pad had like a bunch of crap on it. I was like, whoa, what in the heck is this? So yeah, there's some good stuff. That burned a little bit. It's okay though. So now I put on toner, but like, I don't use toner the way, oh, it's the, the Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. <laughs> um, I don't put on Witch Hazel the same way everybody else does. I kind of just like put it in my hand and smack it on my face. Cause I feel like when it comes to Witch Hazel, like these cotton pads don't really, like they just soak everything up, like everything. So yeah, just watch my ridiculous way of putting on toner. Okay, so the toner's on. Gotta wait for this to dry. So remember when I used that milky jelly cleanser thingy, my jiggy? So I switched between that and um, Shea Moisture's African Black Soap. My go-to, like when it comes to like breakouts and stuff, like let's say I was breaking out right now, I would not be using the Glossier stuff just because I'd much rather the um, Shea Moisture Black African Soap because it's just, that is what changed my life when um, when I was breaking out like that. That was the first product I had that I was like super solid. Like this is going to be a permanent part of my skincare routine. I didn't find out what I wanted in my skincare routine or at least what worked for me until like three years after finding out. So uh, start trying to discover that young so your parents spend their money and you don't spend your money because you know you get a job and you got to buy your own skincare stuff and you're paying you know, $65 for three serums and these small little bottles because serums are expensive and they're for adults. This is my old lady part of my, my thing. This makes me feel old. Um, it's also from Glossier. Like, I'm telling you, Glossier, gl like, Glossier, like, you see those little ads on Instagram and you think, meh, not the crit. No, it's actually, it's pretty legit. So, this is vitamin C and magnesium and this is to brighten and energize, told that tired skin. So, I have three other ones. One has, um, vitamin b5 and something else and then the other one has hyaluronic acid and something else so one of them is for like breakouts and you know purify your skin yada 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 and then the other one oh my gosh oh it's to tight to tighten soften rough skin but this is like you know the one i'll be needing the most because uh vitamin c very important for your face vitamin c as a whole is like amazing like see that who is she who is she oh my god no but like wow wow wow, wow. last but not least the Water Drop Dr. Jart Hydrating Moisturizer. Don't do a thing again. Oh, hello. Is it different? Because it looks metal. Oh, ooh. ooh. Who is she? So, this. This is like the super, super, super like moisturizing, jelly kind of stuff. I only use like this much. Wait, let me show you. Ooh. That much. Because it goes a long way because it's water based. And this one, it's super cold after you like irritated your face to the max. So it's great for that. And it is just like, oh my God, it's great. Dude, look, look at this. Look, look, oh, that's an ugly angle. Um, that's the end of my skincare routine. Usually you notice in the morning, like you wake up and you're like, I'm feeling myself too much. I'm sorry. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. I'm not a beauty guru. I don't do those things. But I'm very adamant about my skincare routine. I'm very adamant about keeping your skin and hair intact. So, if that's what you want, I can give it to you. And I will be passionate about it. Don't expect me to be doing anything crazy. Um, yeah. So, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am done. <laughs>